Good evening, and thanks for stopping by. We're going to be going to Psalm 91, 1 through 5. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the sneer of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. And this specifically is going out to Watch Woman, Woman 65. Her name is Lisa. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing this evening? Or anybody that happens to uh, be affiliated with her, I noticed a video that she wrote about all the white people are going to be killed around the world. And she gave this horrific story from South Africa. She'd received, I believe, an email regarding it and how that they were killing all of the South African white farmers. Okay. So I listened and it was horrific. It is horrific. And then I, I read the story and then I noticed that the story, she had left out some parts, that it's not just uh, farmers who are white, but farmers of all nationalities and then I noticed that when I read the article that the full article has coming from a site that all they do is stir up wickedness and what I mean by that is somebody's uh, coming against you uh, somebody's trying to hurt you if you're a certain different nationality then I went a little bit deeper I said well now wait a minute what? the whole site is is pushing this kind of uh, rhetoric against human beings? Let me check it out. So then I went to Pulitzer.com or Pulitzer Net, and then I also found out that it's called the myth of a white genocide. And what's happening is people in South Africa are concerned about the land, who owns the land. And of course they would be after 350 years of apartheid and different type of slavery in the area certain people have more than other people. It's all around the world, unfortunately, where the haves and the have-nots. So that's something that South Africa is trying to work out right now, and they're doing the best they can. After the lockdown, all of these things are coming out. Uh, people are very concerned in their country. But she equated what's going on in South Africa with what's going on in the United States. Well, first of all, in South Africa, the Africanis are 4% of the population. But in the United States, people that would look like Africanis, that would be lighter in complexion, guess what? They're about 65 to 70% or 80% of the country. Nobody's trying to take out Americans who are light complected. Nobody has a game plan to destroy people who are not um, have less melanin in the skin than other people that's not that is a myth and then as I continue to look this up we found out that people from South Africa are actually traveling through the United States at least last year 2019 and getting money from these harsh groups that push hatred around the United States and the world and then I had also noticed in some of her other videos it's, it's a, this is not a slam to her let me stop here this is a slam to what she's talking about okay she's saying that neo-nazis are better well um, if you go to Germany right now, that's illegal to be a, a uh, neo-Nazi, and they don't think it's anything funny or to play about. This is very serious to say that groups of people want to kill other groups of people in the body of Christ. I want to hear about Jesus. I want to turn on her station and hear about how Christ is coming soon. I don't want to hear about people that don't like another color. I think about my grandmother, if she were alive at this time and had heard that, and she would have been so scared. She would have said, is it true, Kimmy? Is it true, Kimmy? They're coming to kill the white people? I, I would have to tell her, no, Granny, no, Grams. They're not coming to kill the white people. I, this is ridiculous. I don't think as a Christian woman, you should have this unscathed stuff that you're putting out about hatred. And you're talking about other 
uh, subversive groups in the United States that if you're in the group, you are non-Christian. Nobody knows what's in those groups. This is a power struggle in the United States. And through Christ, the United States can overcome. But if they don't follow the ways of the Lord, they are not going to overcome. And there might be some changes that nobody will like. But certainly nobody is trying to take out, kill, or destroy people uh, that have a little less melanin in their skin. And I, this, I have already written her, and uh, she deleted uh, what I have written her regarding it. But if just do your due diligence and try really hard not to upset people with this. This one's got melanin, this one doesn't. This is supposed to be a time when we're getting closer to Christ, when we're holding hands together in Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter about um, less melanin or more melanin. Some are more melanin blessed, some are a little less melanin, but we love them. We love each other because we're in the body of Christ. We are, we're human beings. Let's start treating each other like human beings. And that's what I wanted to say, that that was an erroneous little video she did and it was very disconcerting and she's done other ones so that's just a shout out i love you god bless you god bless those that are watching uh her channel and god bless her this is not a i don't i'm not spitting on her i'm talking about these particular videos that i did see uh that i know that if she had researched it she probably would have changed maybe changed a little bit i don't know but it's up in it's it's hurtful to read it let's just say that it's hurtful to read it Anyway, or listen to it. Take care and God bless.